This challenge is not for the fearful. This challenge is for individuals who are committed to their success and their growth. This challenge is for people who are brave enough to try something that could change their pursuit of success entirely. If that's you, keep watching. If that's not you, still keep watching because this video will be inspirational nonetheless. Welcome to Breathe and Bloom, where we talk about how to invest in different areas of our lives so that we can bloom and thrive in them. In this video, we'll be talking about habits, time management, and a success strategy that is very different. I mean the opposite of most of the strategies I've heard of and talked about on this channel. And I want to challenge you to try this strategy for the next 21 days. I've already started this challenge. I started on February 1, so seven days before recording this video and it has already impacted my life. And so I'm looking forward to the remainder of this challenge to see how it goes. I'm not spilling any tea just yet because I want you to try it for yourself. So you might be wondering why 21 days? Well because it takes about 21 days for us to fully develop a habit. Um, there's some research that says it takes more than 21 days, some that says around 66 days, but let's start with 21, alright? And I'm releasing this video on February 8th. So if you start on February 8th, the challenge will last the remainder of the month of February and then on March 1, you'll be able to reflect on how the month went for you and to decide if you want to continue on with this challenge, right? Sounds great. I thought about this. I got you. I got you. Now, before we delve into the challenge and why it could change things drastically for you, I want to share two quotes with you about habits. The first quote says, people do not decide their futures. They decide their habits and their habits decide their futures. So I'll ask the question, what's one habit that could set you up for success? The next quote says, success is actually a short race, a sprint fueled by discipline just long enough for habit to kick in and take over. So that's really suggesting that success and habits are, you know, closely entwined and that to be successful, we need some good habits. And so hopefully over this next 21 days, you will be developing a good habit that will help you with your success. I'll be doing a follow-up video, so stay tuned for that as well, or go search for it, or I'll link it above, something of the sort, but it'll be on my channel for you to see how it went for me and for you to share in the comment section how it went for you. So what is it? This challenge is for you to focus on one thing each day, only one thing. Now I shared in my video on goals and systems that according to James Clare, we need to commit to a set of actions in order to achieve our goals. However, Gary Keller in his book, The One Thing, The Surprisingly Simple Truth Behind Extraordinary Results, says that all we need to do is to focus on one thing consistently to achieve our goals. He says, success demands singleness of purpose. You need to be doing fewer things for more effect instead of doing more things with side effects. It is those who concentrate on but one thing at a time who advance in the world. Another quote from the book says, make sure every day you do what matters most. When you know what matters most, everything makes sense. When you don't know what matters most, anything makes sense. Did, did you get that? Pause the video, rewind it if you need to hear it again so you can digest it. So another question I'll ask you is what matters most? This quote is saying we need to prioritize and prioritizing is a key part of a time management strategy that I share about in this video. So be sure to check it out to make sure you're prioritizing and managing your time the best way possible. Another quote from Gary Keller's book that I found really thought provoking says, it's not that we have too little time to do all the things we need. 
It is that we feel the need to do too many things in the time we have. And hopefully this is all highlighting why focusing on one thing might be useful. Another of Gary Keller's quotes says, to-do lists tend to be long. Success lists are short. One pulls you in all directions, the other aims you in a specific direction. One is a disorganized directory and the other is an organized directive. If a list isn't built around success, then that's not where it takes you. If your to-do list contains everything, then it's probably taking you everywhere but where you really want to go. So I want to encourage you to spend a little time today, sometime soon, this week, to prioritize, to figure out what the most important thing for you to focus on is. And then I want you to focus on that one thing. So let's take a second to imagine. What if you decide that you're going to aim to do one thing each day? What if you do the one thing? How do you think that will make you feel the next day and the day after that? I think that's one of the most powerful um, benefits of this one thing mentality. And I'll say that that is what I found in the past week so far, is it has been extremely motivating. Um, both at the start of the day, I'm like, you know what? There are lots of things I would like to do, but if I just do this one thing, I'm counting it a win. I'm counting today a success. And so I start the day with that mindset rather than starting overwhelmed. And then I get through the day doing that one thing and often more things. Um, and then at the end of the day, I can celebrate the fact that I did my one thing. And then the following day, you know, I have some success to work on. I already did my one thing the day before and the day before and so on. So I want to challenge you to do that for 21 days. I believe in you. Do you believe in you? I'll share that I did two things. Um, I know it's supposed to be one. one is that I decided I wanted to beef up my waking up early habit, okay? Most days I wake up early, um, but most days I wake up early enough. And you know, early enough to get most of my morning routine done, but not all of it. And not in a way that lets me start the day the way I want to, which is slow and well-balanced and centered. And so I decided that I wanted to wake up my, my actual wake up time that I set out to wake up. Um, and I was systematic about it because I thought about what I needed to do. Hmm. If you haven't watched my video on goals and systems, you should totally watch that. I decided what I needed to do to wake up early and I decided what I would do if I did not wake up early. I thought about why I wanted to wake up early and the reason was to start work early so that I could take breaks. Um, so that was one thing that I did throughout the seven days so far and that I'm planning on doing for the rest of the month. And then I also decided to use this strategy in my day-to-day, -day, um, my day-to-day -day work life. And so I chose to identify a main task for work, at work, a main task that I would do in my professional life. And I have a lot of flexibility, God be praised. Maybe you don't, and your one thing will apply to what you will do in the evenings after work to chase whatever dream you're working on, or um, what you will do in the morning before work, or something of the sort. But you can figure out where this applies best to your life and to make it happen. So maybe it's instead of saying, when I get home from work, I'm going to cook a healthy meal, I'm going to work out, I'm going to read a whole chapter in a book, I'm going to um, make sure the kitchen is clean, and I'm going to whatever and whatever. Most of us have these really long to-do lists, like the quote I was talking about before, but maybe you decide that on Monday, my, pri my priority is going to be to read a chapter of the book. On Tuesday, I'm going to make sure that I do this after work. On Wednesday, and so on. So, 
You can either choose to go that way where you identify a task for each day or you can say, hey, I really just want to focus in on one thing this whole month, but I want you to spend some time today reflecting on it, reflecting on what you prioritize, and I want you to leave a comment down below saying you're in and if you're brave enough to share what your one thing will be. I'd love to hear. And of course, as always, I'm looking forward to celebrating with you. So I'll end by sharing a piece of one of those quotes again with you, uh, which said, make sure every day you do what matters most. My prayer for you today and for this week is that you will pause to reflect and that you will commit to improving yourself whether that's identifying a new habit you want to develop this month or identifying a habit that you want to strengthen but my i pray that you will commit to something for yourself and that you will continue to trust god to bless your efforts and to bring you to where really where he wants you to be until next time continue to breathe and to bloom that just means do what you need to do to take care of yourself so that you can indeed thrive and flourish if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and of course subscribe if you have not yet i mean go subscribe all right, until next time, take care.